It's Mark Weens. I am in Chiang Rai, Thailand, and I'm actually, Ying and I are taking a bus uh, out of Chiang Rai tonight. So it's, it's the late afternoon, and for our last meal, at least for the time being in Chiang Rai, we're gonna go to a very, very well-known uh, uh, stir-fry restaurant called Khao Tom Jiao Jalun Chai, which is, there it is right there across the street. I was actually here last night and had an amazing meal here, but it was it was absolutely packed out. And if you drive past this restaurant at night, uh, it is usually just completely full and even people waiting to eat here. So last night it was completely packed out, so that's why today I'm here quite early at 4 p.m., a little after 4 p.m. right as they opened. And already there's a couple people eating in here, but we are one of the first. Anyways, I've ordered up some of the most, um, sig some of their signature dishes, I think. And the food, yeah, like I said, I ate here last night as well, so the food I already know is fantastic. They do have chopsticks and the, looks like the spoon and fork are wrapped in a little plastic bag. One of their most famous dishes here is called Padmakya Soei, and it is uh, eggplant. Eggplant stir fried up with chilies, and there's some pork in there, and basil, I see some basil as well. But uh, this is a, a dish that um, Soei is a, a word in Thai for, it's like a royal word for eating, for, for eating. So this is a kind of a, a royal eggplant dish at that, that this restaurant is really well known for. Oh, that looks so good. I'm a huge lover of eggplant. Mm. Oh, that is marvelous. That eggplant is so soft and tender. And then I can really taste that, that sweet basil. I got a little piece of pork and then a little piece of chili. And the, the sauce is kind of like oyster sauce, a little bit sweet, but not too salty, but really just balanced out very nicely. Oh, that is a, that is a simple dish, but it's stir fried so, so beautifully. Such a wonderful blend of flavors. Oh, that's marvelous. This dish is called Don Yot On Tantawan Pad Mukrob. And what that is is actually this is a very a very rare dish. I don't think I've I've seen it uh, at any other restaurant. But what it is 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 uh, except I have seen it in like a health food store. But what it is is sunflower sprouts. And they almost look like little bean sprouts, uh, but they're sunflower sprouts and stir fried up with garlic and crispy crispy pork. This is this looks amazing I'm gonna put some on my rice again oh beautiful mm. those are so good they are they are a little bit tough so you do have to chew them very well before you swallow but it's tough in a good way. That like, with every chew, it releases so much flavor. But along with that crispy pork belly, which gives it a wonderful flavor um, as well. And then it's stir fried just in almost the same sauce as the, the eggplant. That is a wonderful vegetable though. It tastes so fresh and kind of like really chewy bean sprouts. That is a beautiful dish. I could, I could really eat this vegetable frequently. All right, this plate is just basically um, Chinese style boiled chicken, but they call it gai tom, gai tom sap. As you can even see that that skin is almost like, it almost looks like gelatinous, uh, but this is made with a, with a type of chicken called gai ban, which is kind of like a, it's sort of like a, it's a variety of chicken, but it's sort of like a free-range chicken, so it's a smaller chicken, and the meat is usually tougher. And but I like it. I really like it because the meat is usually like has some real good texture to it, and you can just see the layers and dip it into the. This is like a, a fermented soybean sauce, Ao Jiao. Give it a little, 
a little dip. Oh yeah, that is, that's very good. The chicken has just a slightly chewy texture. So it's not, it's not fall apart tender, but that's what you really want with this type of dish. You gotta chew it a little bit. And it just has a, has a really good um, chicken, well, chicken flavor. And then that sauce is, that sauce is actually pretty salty pretty heavy on the, the fermented soybeans, and I think it maybe it could use some more ginger and some chilies, but that chicken is really, it's really nice. It really tastes like a fresh, like free range running chicken. And then finally, this one is called Taitun, and basically it's steamed egg, and there, I think there's a little ball of fried garlic on top, and there might be some minced pork in it, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'll find out right now. I'm just gonna dig into that. Oh, steamed egg is another wonderful comfort dish. Look at that, piece of steamed egg. I'm gonna put it there. I might grab a little bit of that toasted garlic and take a bite with some rice. It's so fluffy and so tender. It's, yeah, it's basically like a, a fluffy omelet that is, that is really light and airy. And then I can taste little bits of pork in there, as well as that, that fried crispy garlic. It's truly a, truly a comfort egg dish. And I used to eat this, actually, my, my grandmother, who is Chinese, always used to cook steamed egg. Um, it would, I remember eating it a lot when I was growing up, whenever I was visit, visiting her. So, I've always been a big fan of steamed egg. This food is really extremely good. It's a very good restaurant. That was an outstanding meal. I. The food here is wonderful. The dishes are actually very simple, but I think they're just done extremely well. Uh, the balance of flavors was beautiful. The ingredients were so fresh, and yeah, just, just very well done. That is just like so satisfying of a meal. If you're ever in Chiang Rai, this is Chao Tong Jiao Zhe Ren Chai is most definitely a restaurant you must include on your must eat list. Um, but actually, it's a really good idea to come early as soon as they open at about 4 or even 5 uh, p.m. Because if you come later, more like 7 or so, it gets really, really busy. Uh, but it's still worth it. Come early and enjoy the marvelous food here. Great, great restaurant in Chiang Rai.